Gemini. This is your behind the scenes reading for October 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for October 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for October 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for October 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Gemini. Gemini, these are your cards, honey. So, Gemini, you have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the six of pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the six of pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the six of pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Gemini, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Now, either you're bothered by whether or not you should receive something from someone, whether you should give someone something here to bring balance. You could be worried about that things are just off balance you know, just in general. However, you could also tell me that you're worried that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two and it's bothering you. Gemini, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out, may even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' as relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else called and this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So listen, Gemini, I could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Gemini. Clarify the devil for Gemini. Clarify the devil for Gemini. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. 
brand new practical beginnings. So some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment here. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're tempted to come in with this offer. Okay, it's worrying you whether or not you should give. However, this offer could be coming into you and you're tempted by it, okay? And you're worried about whether or not you should accept. Could be commitment here. Listen, Gemini, you have the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So listen, Gemini, could be dealing with a cancer. <clears throat> But you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Gemini. Clarify the chariot for Gemini. Clarify the chariot for Gemini. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey. To do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So listen, Gemini, I could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Gemini. Clarify the fool for Gemini. Clarify the fool for Gemini. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So listen, Gemini, could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me, hey... I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Gemini. Clarified temperance for Gemini. Clarified temperance for Gemini. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that they're getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Now, listen, <laughs> yes, you know, you can tell me you're moving forward, taking this leap of faith, wanting to get their attention because you're wanting to heal things with them. And it could be you coming in with this offer and this apology here. Yes, they could be getting your attention. OK, and maybe you're kind of tempted to take it, but maybe you're trying to be patient before you move forward here. Could also be an announcement being made. Someone may have commitment on the brain here, okay? And maybe you're just trying to be patient before you just up and NASCAR fast, take this leap of faith with this person, but you're wanting to. Or maybe we have to do some type of compromise and negotiations here. We have to bring some type of balance before you answer. Listen, Gemini, you have the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea the news a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place but this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate so passionate messages or news of passion so listen gemini you could be receiving passionate messages you could be sending out passionate messages very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion or this is a heated discussion or argument clarify the page of wands for gemini Clarify the page of wands for Gemini. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini. 
it is clarified with the six of pentacles again so like i said you know you can tell me that something is off balance here something could be off balance with the giving and receiving you may be giving something here receiving something here or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else giving to two so is it that you guys had this heated discussion or argument because something was off balance here and now someone is wanting to maybe come in and make it right is it that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion, giving more somewhere else, giving to two? Or is it that we're having this argument about someone not maybe wanting to receive something here? Listen, Gemini, you have the two of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Gemini, you're dealing with your babe. This is your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement, okay? Clarify the two of cups for Gemini. Clarify the two of cups. For Gemini, clarify the two of cups. For Gemini, it is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you needing to make a decision. But you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge. A lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So listen, Gemini, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Now listen, you can tell me that you're indecisive about some type of an agreement. You're indecisive about solidifying you guys' relationship because it could be an offer for commitment coming in here. Legal binding contract proposal here, okay? However, you can tell me this is your soulmate, but maybe you're blocking them, okay? I don't think you're blocking them. I just think you're indecisive here because you're all up in your head stressed and worried about whether or not you should receive something here or give something here. So listen, Gemini, this is your behind the scenes reading for October 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.